Tonight, Europe's finest stars of the doors go head to head. Ten countries, ten amazing sound alikes, one title. Eurostars champion 2001. And it's all happening here on Stars in Euro Eyes. Cheers. Cheers. an amazing new chapter in the history of those famous doors. Thanks to Satellite, you can see this show all over Europe. So for those of you watching outside the UK, my name is Matthew Kelly. I'm the British host of what we call Stars in Their Eyes, and it's an honour for me to present this European special. Tonight's unique event will find out which country has produced the greatest musical sound alike on the continent. Ten European countries will be singing to win the title of Eurostars Champion 2001. That champion will be decided by a panel of ten judges, one from each country taking part. And here they are. Good evening, Euro judges. Hello, Matthew, and a very good evening from Amsterdam. Firstly, I want to say you look very glamorous for what is going to be, I believe, a very glamorous evening. And the other thing I want to say, which I always say when we start off a new series of Stars in the Rise in this country, may the best wig win. See you later. Good evening, Matthew, from Budapest. We wish all 10 Eurostars good luck and have a wonderful evening. It will be fantastic. Hi, I'm Matthew from the United Kingdom. Well, I know what all 10 Eurostars are going through because I've been through something very similar myself. All I will say to them is loads and loads of luck, but just think that everyone in your home country is going to be willing you on and cheering for you. Have a great night. Hello, Matthew. Norway's coming in loud and clear, and that's my best advice to everyone, be loud and clear. Good luck and have a fantastic evening. Hello, Matthew from Berlin, Germany. We already know our Eurostar, but we can't wait to hear the other nine amazing voices from all over Europe. So, good luck to everyone. This is your night. Hello, Matthew, and good luck to all the Eurostars here from Stockholm. The competition is looking very tough, but we're keeping our fingers crossed. We'll see you later. Hi, Matthew. A big ciao from Milan in Italy, where we are very proud of our Eurostar. He's a great performer and a great guy. So, good luck to him and good luck to everybody. Hello, Matthew. You're looking great, man. I'm very excited to be in your show tonight. I wish you good luck and a very nice evening for everybody. Good evening, Matthew. Like we say in our country, let's make 10 dreams come true. I want to wish everybody a wonderful evening and I want to send a big hug to Nadia and, of course, a kiss to you, Matthew. Hello, Matthew, and hello to everyone on Stars in Euro Eyes from Spain. I wish the best of luck to all the contestants because I know they're all fantastic. So let's enjoy a starry night. Thank you. 
Thank you very much to all of you, and it's a pleasure to welcome you all. The voting system is easy. Our judges can't vote for their own singer, but they can award either two, four, six, eight, or ten points to five other countries. It's that simple. So if this is going into Europe, I'm all for it. Our first port of call is Holland. Before we meet their star, let's meet their judge. Good evening, Joe de Porta. Good evening from Amsterdam, and hello to you again, Matthew. It's only right and proper that Holland are first on the show because this is the birthplace of Stars in the Rise, is it not? Exactly. It was created by a man called Henny Hausmann some uh, 16 years ago, and he's still hosting the show. Tell me what impresses you about your representative tonight, Joe. Well, in one word, uh, she's great. A great personality and, above all, a great voice. Dankovel, Joe, we'll speak to you later. We've heard about her, now let's see her. Before the UK's famous doors do their stuff, let's meet Eurostar guest number one. Hi, I'm Savannah Dumont, and welcome to Amsterdam. In Holland, there are a lot of uh, nice people. I'm really enjoying living in Holland. I've got a lot of friends in my hometown start to sing when I was born. <laughs> my mother always said that when I was a little child, I was always singing. Singing is a part of my life, just like my children. It's like my third baby. <laughs> the first clue to who I'm going to be tonight is she was born Patricia Holt in 1944. The second clue is her first band were called the Bluebells. The third clue is the song If All Saints, a number one hit in 1999. And tonight, singing live and representing Holland, Silvana Germat is Patti LaBelle.
met you. Uh, Hello. I am so thrilled you started the show. I yes. couldn't think of anybody better. Oh, thank you. With your gitty gitty yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You've gone through a lot to get here, haven't yes. you? Tell, yes. Yes. Is this true that you, it was your first flight to get here? Yeah, it was my first flight. You've never flown before? No, I've never flown before. Okay. Tell me which was more frightening, flying or coming through those doors? Coming through these doors, really, it was see? very scary. And you would never know it at all. I didn't see any nerves at all. Yes. Now, your son, when, you, when he first saw you on this show in, yes. in Holland, tell me what happened. He did not know I was his mother. He was very shocky, really. No. Well, I'm <laughs> no. not surprised. You look like you just came out of Star Trek. Yes, yes. I'm the greatest girlfriend. <laughs> yes. You've got a little message for him, haven't you? Yes. I can say it in yes, Dutch. Yes, please say it in okay. Dutch. Jovis and Jemaya, Mama is here. I miss you heel erg, and I hou ontzettend veel van jullie. Tell us what you just said to him. I just told them that I uh, really miss them in Holland. I, um, I'm very proud of them. And I wish they were here. Oh, bless you. And thank you for the loan of your mother. Ladies and gentlemen, our first Euro star, through the doors, representing Holland, Silvana Jamat as Patti LaBelle. <laughs> now we're heading east. Time for me to say hello or your state, Hungary. Your judge is a face you know. And they know him here from Hungary's stars in their eyes and who wants to be a millionaire. Please welcome Istvan Vago. Hello. Shall we continue in Hungarian? Your, your pronunciation is just perfect. Oh, Congratulations. You're just saying that. <laughs> now, you are the presenter of Stars and Rise there. Well, tell us, Ishvan, what's the name of it? It's called Kifutu in Hungarian, meaning running out. Running out on a catway to perform or even for, for airplanes to take off. That's also a runway. That's also a Kifutu. Tell us a little about your representative, Ishvan. Kifuto, our star in their eyes, was the first opportunity for him to sing solo in front of an audience, but this is an international audience, so I wish him well, I wish him good luck. Terrific, and good luck to all of you. Gusenom Istvan. We'll see you later for your votes. OK, I want you to imagine a Welshman has left his body, travelled through the ether across Europe and swapped places with a Hungarian pianist. It sounds impossible, but not on stars in Euro eyes. And not with Euro star guest number two. Hello, my name is Peter and welcome to Budapest in Hungary. I'm born in uh, Nagyvárad. It's... Uh, Actually, not in Hungary, but it's in Romania. It's near for the border of Hungary. Budapest, it's a very nice city. It's split in two sides, Buda and Pest. The river is in the middle. I think one of the most beautiful city in Europe. I have a band and I play on piano, keyboards. For me, it's a very great honor to represent Hungary. Here are three clues about the person I'm going to be tonight. His real name is Thomas Woodward. His first stage name was Tommy Scott. This star has had hits over four decades. And it's a great pleasure to welcome him here as tonight, singing live and representing Hungary, Peter Kovacs is Tom Jones.
Thank you very much. Thank you. I must congratulate you not only on that performance, but Peter just got married as well. Oh, yeah. Ah. And there's Andrea now. Oh, Andrea must be thrilled to see you dancing with six girls in shiny black hot pants. <laughs> that was marvellous. Now, this is a bit of a pilgrimage to you here, isn't it? Yes. Tell me why. Big Manchester United fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But I, w I want to show you something yes. before, because it's true, but I have something with me. So, you went, you went to the ground, did you? Yes, of course. It's amazing that a man from Hungary can sound alike. I mean, is Tom Jones very big in Hungary? Yeah, he's a big star, especially now with uh, that new album, Reload. I see, but, but what were the influences? Yeah, my parents, they are all very big Tom Jones fans, especially my mom. I see, so you play the Tom Jones CDs all the time. Yeah, it was easy growing up, you know, with that kind of feeling. Well, I can see where you got it from, and it was a terrific performance yeah, as well. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Hungary, Peter Kovacs as yeah! Tom Jones! Start to the show, Holland and Hungary have set the standard. And after the break, Gary Mullen represents the United Kingdom. And Benedict Tanarum represents Norway on Stars in Euro Eyes. Wherever you are, make sure you're back here in two minutes. Dispedida. Manchester, England, for the second part of Stars in Euro Eyes. Tonight we're putting ten stars of stars from ten different countries through two famous doors and onto one stage for a chance to become the Stars in Their Eyes European champion. So, for our German audience, here's a quick gag. Warum umkarte das Schwein der Strasse im Hamburg? Damit ist kein Hamburger Wader. Anyway... Enough of all this laughter. <laughs> Time for the serious business of the UK's entry. Our judge knows all about going into Europe and winning. So please welcome Cheryl Baker. Hello, Cheryl. How are you, Matthew? Oh, it's lovely don't, to don't see you. Don't give up the day job, Matthew. <laughs> that's your attempt to comment. <laughs> Thank you very much, my dear. <laughs> Could you tell the whole of Europe about our own show? Yeah, our own show. Well, it's been going for 11 years. It has a catchphrase which is, Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. The studio audience always uh, vote for the winner, except for in the final when it goes to a phone in vote. And it also has the most drop dead gorgeous host in television. Oh, tell me some more, tell me some more. <laughs> now then, you're very well qualified to be advising our own entrant, Gary. Now, have you got any advice for him? Oh, golly. He's got such a fantastic voice. I think the only advice I could offer him is just go out there, sing your socks off, and the adrenaline is going to carry him through. He's just a brilliant, brilliant person. Wonderful singer. Thank you very much, Cheryl, and we'll see you later. Are you ready, Europe? Here comes a face we Brits know very well and a voice we know extremely well, and it's Eurostar guest number three. 
Hi, my name is Gary Mullen. Welcome to Edinburgh. I used to work in a call centre selling computers. I now sing full time doing a tribute for the person I'm going to be on the show. When my wife was giving birth to her first child, one of the band's songs was playing in the delivery room as she gave birth. My son has become a big fan of the person I'm going to do. After the Stars and the show, he says to me, Daddy, you be yes. Matthew Kelly, and I've got to say, tonight singing live, Ben Mullen is... And he goes behind the door in the living room, comes in, takes a bow, and starts singing. I mean, the whole Stars and experience is experience like a roller coaster, but it's a great person. The first clue to the person that I'm going to be tonight is it was born in Zanzibar. Second clue is this star was larger than life. And the final clue is that his band stole the show at Live Aid. And doing it again, this time for the United Kingdom, tonight, singing live, Gary Mullen is Freddie Mercury! It's the kind of magic It's the kind of magic It's the kind of magic One truth, one soul One prize, one goal One goal It of what you be It's always good to see you there. Because <laughs> the last time we saw you, you were handing over your crown, weren't you? Yeah, I was indeed, yep. And you've not only given up your crown on Stars in the Rise, you've given up your job as well, as we know. I have, yep. How are things going? Going very well, singing full time now. Uh, uh, tribute to Freddie. Really? And how does it feel to be representing your country in a, in a competition like this? Very proud. Really? Very scary, but very proud. Do you feel you're representing the United Kingdom or Scotland? 
well, obviously represent Scotland first, but the whole of the United Kingdom. And you re represent all of us rather well, and there's your family there to support you. Ladies and gentlemen, representing the United Kingdom, Gary Mullan as Freddie Mercury. <laughs> Let's head across the channel from Britain to Norway. Goodwill, Norway, and hello to your judge, Vibeka Strom. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Vibeka. Looking good this evening. Thank you. Uh, let me see if I can get this right, Rebecca. Correct me if I'm wrong. Your show there is called Sterne i Sikti. Um, Stjerne i Sikte. Uh, well, right? <laughs> pretty <laughs> close, wasn't it? What does it mean there, Rebecca? Well, it's, you know, our term for stars in their eyes. It actually means stars in their eyes there. Mm. And you have a very famous host there, don't you? We do, yeah. Jan Teigen. He's uh, quite a Eurovision Song Contest legend. Uh, he's contributed to making Norway famous for their... Nulle point, I believe. <laughs> There's something very unusual about your representative tonight, isn't there, Rebecca? Well, you, you will see that she will appear quite laid back tonight, but uh, her, her hobby is actually singing punk music with her brother, uh, with a stage name. Um, actually, uh, we can't say that, it's, it's too rude. <laughs> but uh, I, um, I assure you that when you see her tonight, you won't believe that she is quite a bit of a punk. You're absolutely right. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Well, it won't be Norway Null Point this evening, not when their representative is Eurostar guest number four. Hello, I'm Benedicta. Welcome to Oslo in Norway. <laughs> I'm 23 years old and I come from a small place that's called Eina in Norway. And I have two brothers and a sister and I have a horse and I love to go horse riding. People should visit Norway because it's clean air and it's beautiful nature. They should go to the mountains and they should go and see the fjords. Like the person I'm going to be tonight. Uh, she's a Canadian singer. She wrote the hit song Woodstock for Crosby Stills National Young. The song I'm going to sing this evening was covered in 1995 by Amy Grant. And making the transition from punk to hippie tonight, singing live and representing Norway, Benedict Narum is Joni Mitchell.
Benedicta. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, will you just look at this face? Look at this face. This is a picture of innocence and loveliness. And you're a very shy girl as well, aren't you? Do we believe this girl is a punk? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Benedicta, what sort of songs do you sing as a punk? Mm, I do punk versions of uh, The Rose and I Will Always Love You and... A punk version of Whitney Houston's I Will Always Love You. <laughs> mm, I'm forming a picture here. You're a very big EastEnders fan, aren't you? Yeah. Who are your favourite characters? Uh, it's Angie and... Den and Dirty yeah. Den and Ange? Yeah. You're a little bit behind in Norway, are yeah. you? <laughs> mm, I see. <laughs> what made you apply for the show? Just for fun. Just for fun. Yeah. And we had a lot of fun being with you as well. <laughs> and that is such an accurate Joni Mitchell, honestly. <laughs> That's really spot on. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Norway, Benedict Tenarum as Joni Mitchell. <laughs> Tonight is already an historic event so far. Four European countries have sung against each other and there hasn't been a single song called Bing Bang a Bong Bong. We've more Chansons Sans Frontières in two minutes with Germany and Sweden about to join our European community. I'll see you then. In Euro eyes, we've already seen four Euro stars representing Holland, Hungary, Britain, and Norway. And I'd like to put one extraordinary thought in your head. Our European star guests are not only singing perfectly in someone else's voice, they're singing perfectly in someone else's language, too. Put it this way: for English-speaking viewers, just think about doing an exact sound alike of Charles Aznavour in perfect French with the right regional accent and the correct voice. And now think about this: our next Euro star is singing tonight for Germany with a song in English as a Scottish super. Star. Before we meet him, let's meet Germany's judge. Good Abend, Germany. Hello, Nova Meyer Heinrich. Hi, Matthew. How are you? Hi, Nova. <laughs> now, I hope I got that pronunciation right, and I'm going to push my luck one more time. Your show there is called Lastig Überraschen. Yeah, that's almost perfect, you know, you're getting better and better. Yeah, that's true. In Germany, Stars in Their Eyes is a part of the show Lass dich überraschen, which is kind of like um, surprise, surprise over in the UK. So you can imagine there's a lot of things going on in the show. We don't have a live final like you do in the UK, but we have a very handsome, nice presenter called Tommy Orner. OK, and tell me a little bit about your representative from Germany tonight. And, well, he plays in a band, he's a singer there, and his band is called Bread and Games, Brot und Spiele. And he became the singer of that band, well, by, by luck, because the first singer of the band emigrated to Ireland, so he took his chance, became the singer, and I'm very, very glad he did, because otherwise we would have missed out on a great talent. Danke und Thank später, you. Nova. Bye. No time to wait, it's straight to the Brandenburg Gate with Eurostar guest number five. Hi, I'm Marco from Germany. Welcome to Berlin. Well, Berlin, the capital of Germany, is a quite interesting place. There are many museums and historical places to see. For example, the Berlin Wall or the Brandenburg Gate. Well, there's a certain res responsibility to represent a country and I'm very proud to represent Germany this night. It's so great when I can express myself while singing, so that's really amazing. And especially when you perform with a live orchestra, that's a feeling you can't describe. Three clues to the person I'm going to be tonight. He was born in Scotland. The song I'm singing tonight is from the hit film Four Weddings and a Funeral. And last year, he left his band wet, wet, wet to go solo. And going solo himself tonight, singing live and representing Germany, Marco Neumann is Marty Bello.
Marco, and welcome to the UK as well. Has anything impressed you at all? Well, I must really say the British are well known all over the world as being so polite and so gentle and so friendly. And when I got here, it, uh, it, amazed, it, it amazed me. And um, it, they, the people, they were more friendlier, much more friendlier. We are than nice I here, we are yeah. nice here. Yeah, we love you. <laughs> It was a very nice thing to say, and it was a very good thing to say, because may I just uh, point something out to you here, because you looked up the UK stars in their eyes on the internet, didn't you, Marco? Oh, yes. yes. And, <laughs> I uh, did. And what did you discover? You. Yes, and what did you think <laughs> about me on the internet, Marco? Well, I thought, just an old man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I didn't know how cool you are. Yeah, you see. <laughs> Good. Look, we've had two Martipellos who have won finals here in the UK, and you're right up there with the best of them. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, representing Germany, Marco Neumann as Martipello. Okay. Now, I'd like to welcome Sweden to start in Euro eyes. Gukavel, Sweden, and hey, Leia Christensen. Good kväll, Matthew. Tell me what your show is called in Sweden. It's, it's called Sikta mot kärnorna. That means reach for the stars. Oh, right. And you have a live final on that show, do you? Well, all the heats are actually live. And I can tell you that 50% uh, of the artists on the show, they're Swedish. It's been running on TV for about 10 years now. And in 97, the live final winner, he actually presented Sweden in the Eurovision Song Contest as well. Oh, really? And Sweden does really rather well in the Eurovision Song Contest, doesn't it? Well, absolutely. First time was in 74 when we had quite a win there. And then last time was 99. Tell me a little bit about the duo who are representing you tonight. Yes, it's two lovely girls called Katja and Camilla. And believe me, if they perform with the same intensity as they shop, then um, it's looking pretty good. 
Tack and Vicias Lea. We'll see you later for your votes. Uh, plenty of clues coming up, and the first are staring you in the face as we meet Eurostar guests number six. Hi, my name is Katja. And I'm Camilla. Welcome, Welcome to, to Stockholm! Katja and I had uh, knowing each other for 17 years now. It starts uh, when we was working at a hospital as nurses. And uh, since then we have been good friends. Camilla and I, we started singing in a girl band and it was very many years ago. And uh, after that we have done a lot of backing vocals in uh, different bands. And then for about four years ago we started to sing as uh, the artist that we are going to be tonight. The biggest clue is that we look like the people and they are the greatest Eurovision winners of all time. And tonight, singing live and representing Sweden, Katja Nord and Camilla Loenberg are ABBA! Not just the voices, you know. It's a look. They look exactly like them, don't they? They just yeah. look so similar. Now you two yeah. have been shopping for Sweden since you got here. You must have bought <laughs> half of Manchester. Yeah. What did you get here that you can't get in Sweden? <laughs> I don't know because the first day we was here, I went to a shoe shop and I bought Swedish shoes. Actually, <laughs> made that. in Sweden, it said. You don't have shoes in Sweden. 
<laughs> it's stupid, but I did it. I bet you couldn't get these type of clothes, could you? No. These are an exact <laughs> replica, and you would know Camilla, wouldn't you? Because you've worked with Abba, haven't you? I uh, not worked, met, uh, but I, I met them, and uh, they did a um, video <clears throat> in recording, and I was there in the audience when in I was and it very was little. The video of uh, thank you for the music. Yes. I think we should see it, don't we? Would you like to see this? There it is. Camilla, how old were you then? I think I was 11 years old and it was a big experience for me. <laughs> I know, about the same age as your daughter as well. Yeah, and you're in a yeah. tribute band as well, aren't you? What's it called? It's Waterloo. Called Waterloo. Well, there are many yeah. tribute bands, but yeah. yours is the best, girls. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. representing Sweden, Katja Nord and Camilla Lohenberg as Anna Fried and Agneta from ABBA. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If you ever think in a song competition, you'd hear the words singing for Germany, Marty Pello, or representing Hungary, Tom Jones. This is the only place it'll happen, because music has no borders. And after the break, an Italian will become a star from another Latin country. Find out who, what, where and why in two minutes. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Tot strucks. Tada a bit. Stars in Euro Eyes. We may be broadcasting from Manchester to Europe, but we brought Europe to Manchester in the form of tonight's studio audience. All ten countries are represented. In fact, it's a bit like the European Parliament up there. Well, it would be if they were all asleep. <laughs> Time now to welcome Italy to our stage. Buonasera, Italy, and ciao to your judge, Lorenzo Dottero. Hi, Matthew. Ciao. You're a radio presenter, aren't you? Yes, I'm a music reporter for Radio Capital, and uh, sometimes I work for your BBC. I hope uh, you don't mind. Not at all. I can't think of a finer qualification, Lorenzo. Now, your finalists uh, in your show really do have a moment of glory, don't they? Yes, it's called Momenti di Gloria, which means moments of glory. Every single week, Matthew, a quarter of the Italian population watch it on the TV and is hosted by Mike Bongiorno, a w very well-known presenter who's been around on the telly for about uh, some 50 years. What's his catchphrase, Lorenzo? Our catchphrase is, uh, ed ecco a voi Matteo nel suo momento di gloria, which means uh, here is Matthew in his moment of glory. Thank you for joining us, Lorenzo. Grazie, ci vedi armo dopo. See you later, Matthew. Thank you. Our Italian Eurostar guest made his name on their show after an amazing transformation into a Latin lover boy. Before our doors work their magic again, here's Eurostar guest number seven. Hello, I'm Matteo Tarolla. Welcome to Milano. Milano è una città fantastica, è grandissima, c'è molta industria. Poi c'è la moda, discoteca, locali dove si balla, eh, si mangia, è grandissima, è fantastica Milano. Nel mio tempo libero mi piace suonare la chitarra, poi a volte vado in palestra e si esce con gli amici, si va al cinema e ballare, dance, mi piace ballare. La cosa che aspetto di più... È la cosa più sexy che c'è, le ballerine che ballano sono bravissime. Ok! La persona che io sarò stasera ha fatto anche l'attore nel General Hospital, è stata numero uno nelle pareti mondiali con la canzone che io vi canterò stasera. Grazie mille Matteo, tonight singing live and representing Italy, Matteo Tarola is Ricky Martin! Come on! 
Still. How is that for a momenti di gloria? Oh. Now, we have a small problem here because oh. Matteo speaks <coughs> no English and my command of Italian is not fantastic. OK? <laughs> so I'm going to ask Matteo... The banana. A couple, <laughs> top the banana. banana. The yes, we know top banana. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm going to ask Matteo a couple of questions in Italian and then I'll translate his replies, hopefully. First of all, I'm going to ask him what he liked best about coming over to England. Cos'è la cosa più bella che te è capitata in Inghilterra, Matteo? La cosa che mi è capitata di bello in Inghilterra, siete voi, il vostro team, i concorrenti e la musica dal vivo. Oh, you see, oh, you see that? He, he said the best thing about being here is being with the team and the camaraderie with everybody, and most of all, being with Ray Monk and the orchestra, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, I've got to tell you that this man has been an absolute terror with the girls ever since he arrived, <laughs> honestly. So I'm just going to ask him what he thinks of the girls here, OK? Che cosa pensi delle ragazze del posto? Che cosa? Che cosa? Che cosa? Penso che sono delle belle ragazze, sono simpatiche. Però mi raccomando, con mia madre, shh, se no... Hai capito? <laughs> yeah. No, mia madre eh, yeah. he said the, è gelosa. He said the girls are fabulous, but don't tell me, mother. <laughs> you were fantastic. Okay, Ladies grazie. and gentlemen, representing Italy, Matteo Tarola as Ricky Martin! <laughs> We're going to Belgium now for our eighth Eurostar guest. So, who you know, man, to Belgium, and hello to your judge, Kurt Rochez. <laughs> hello, Did Matthew. I, get that I right, must say, Kurt? your Italian is, is uh, much better than your Dutch. <laughs> so, keep on trying, keep on trying. What's your show called there in Belgium? The Sound Mix Show. And the biggest difference, uh, the most important difference uh, with your show is that we have a live jury uh, between the audience and uh, they give advice and tips to the artists. And uh, sometimes they say very ugly things, but uh, I am there to protect them. Well, what's, what's the best moment for you, Kurt, in the show? Well, the final. And then we sing all together, thank you for the music, and I like that a lot. Now, you have a terrific finalist here. <laughs> yes, I know. She's good, isn't she? Yes, who did she have to beat on your final? Uh, Ronan Keating, uh, Deep Blue Something, um, and, and so on and so on. George Michael was also very good. Well, she... Yeah. Uh, she, is, she is a very talented young girl, and uh, we normally we always losing the Eurovision Song Contest, but maybe we have today a winner in Belgium. You don't know. I cross my fingers for our Sonny. Good for you, Kurt, and thank you well. We'll see, see you. you later. See thank you. you. Belgium's Eurostar will become a Canadian superstar, but first it's over to the Grand Place in Brussels for a girl who really is under the weather. Eurostar guest number eight. Hello, I'm Sol Yorwar, and welcome to Brussels. Belgium is a lovely country. We have very good food. I'm very proud to be Belgian, yes. First time I discovered, I uh, sounded like the person I'm gonna be tonight. That's about a couple of years ago. I was singing karaoke bars, so French told me, you really have to do this. What I will be thinking of when I do my song, at first I think about my boyfriend, because if I think about him, I can sing the song really from the heart. The three clues of the person I'm going to be tonight. She's French-Canadian. She appeared on Eurovision Song Festival. And the song comes from the movie Up Close and Personal. Her heart and her voice will go on. She's a French-Canadian Belgian tonight, singing live and representing Belgium. Sonny Orwar is Celine Dion. <laughs> For all the truth that you make sweet For all the joy you brought to my life For all the wrong that you made right For every dream you make come true For all the love I found in you I'd be forever thankful, baby
Like her. Very much. And it's the movement that's like her as well. Yeah. That, yeah. I like that. And the leather's like her as well. May I just tell you, in the United Kingdom, that Celine Dion is always a very popular choice here. And we've had many in our finals. And lots of people apply. Lots of them are women as well. But what, <laughs> <laughs> what made you choose this song? It comes from here. It really does come yeah. from the heart. Really. But tell us where your eyes came from. My eyes came from Amsterdam, I think. Do you see? <laughs> these, these eyes came from Amsterdam. They shipped them over specially to get the right colour for the eyes. That's the attention to detail here, isn't it? Now, somebody very close to you made you apply for this show, didn't they? Yes. Who was that? My boyfriend. Your boyfriend, Benoni. And is he here tonight? Um, he can't be here. He's too busy at work. Isn't that so. typical? They make but... you apply and then they leave you here, stranded. <laughs> He's in my pocket. He's in your pocket? Yeah, there he is. Oh, bless him. And your family yeah. here as well. Yes, my mom, my sister. Welcome and here from Belgium. Very good friend, Danny. Thank Hi, Danny. You. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Belgium, Sonny Arwa as Celine Dion. <laughs> Say before the break, we've had phone calls from all over the place to Granada Studios here in England from people wanting to vote for their favourite Eurostar guest. Well, thank you for your calls, but can I remind you, unlike a normal live final, which is decided by a phone vote, the result of stars in Euro eyes rests with our ten judges and they alone. So far, we've seen eight performances which represent a la creme de la creme of Europe. There's two more to come, and then somehow our judges will have to decide between all ten. Not a job I'd fancy, I can tell you. So change down to first gear. Tranquillo, slap that off, Lustuk an, gas mark two. See you after the break for two more Euro stars. Bye. <laughs> Stars in Euro Eyes, where ten sound-alike champions go head-to-head -head for the title of European champion. It may be cold outside, but now we're visiting two of Europe's hottest holiday destinations. First, Portugal, then Spain. 
Boa noite, Portugal, and hola to your presenter of Stars in the Rise, Barbara Gimaraes. Boa Hello, noite, Barbara. Matthew. <laughs> Tell me about your reign of stars there, Barbara. Um, it, it's called uh, Chuva de Estrelas in Portuguese, and it's Reign of Stars here in the United Kingdom. And on the show, you have, something flashes up on the screen. It goes, Vivo Io Cantado. What does that mean? Singing live. Always in the, in the programmes is uh, singing live, a live show. That's right. What, and what do you give your finalist winner on the show? A trophy made by a Portuguese artist, a recording uh, contract uh, to make a CD, and, of course, the glory of being in your show tonight. Nadia, who's representing your country, Nadia. when I asked her about you, said, Barbara is so glamorous, she's lovely to everybody, and there's nobody in Portugal who can <laughs> present the show like her. Now, what would you like to say about her? She's wonderful. She has a wonderful voice that I think comes from the heart. And if she is seeing me, I will tell her, break a leg. <laughs> Obrigado, Barbara. Obrigado, Matthew. Thank you. So it's time Good for evening. another European postcard arriving first class from Lisbon and Eurostar guest number nine. Hello, I'm Nadia Souza. Welcome to Lisbon. It's a joy to be representing Portugal. I think we are so friendly. I think we are so smiling. We are people that uh, enjoy life so much. I'm, I'm studying uh, French and Portuguese literature in university in Algarve. I've been singing since I won in Portugal the Chuva uh, de Estrelas. This is going to be a very special night. I'm uh, singing a song which I identify myself so much. The first clue about the person I'm going to be tonight is she was born in Paris in 1915. The second clue is that the Parisians called her the Little Sparrow. The final clue is that the song I'm performing tonight became an anthem of Allied troops in World War II. So from the heart of the Algarve to the soul of Paris, tonight singing live and representing Portugal, Nadia Souza is Edith Pia.
That was such a wonderful transformation as well. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank now, you very much. You love singing, don't you? Yes, it comes from my soul. <laughs> yeah, uh, we does. can tell that as well, but you don't like going through those doors, do you? Well, I always think I'm going to fall. Too much smoke. <laughs> I know. Do you not have? To, you don't have the smoke in Portugal. No. Yes, we do, but not that much. Not that no. much. I know there's far too much. I've been telling them about it for some yeah, years it's, now. It's nice. It gets. It's a nice picture. Now you never saw uh, Edith Piaf perform on film or video, did you? No, I never did. How, it's it's how such an old singer. Um, but you're so accurate with the mo the movements and everything. It's so perfect. How did you do that? Well, I've seen some pictures, I've been listening to her in records all my life, and I just tried to understand her feeling. And it took a long time to persuade you to come on the show, didn't it? Seven years. We have the show for seven years in Portugal, and I was always so scared. Sidit Piaf is such, such a big thing for me, and well... And then you won it there, and you <laughs> did well with our audience here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, representing Portugal, Nadia Souza as Edith Piaf! <laughs> Now, it's unusual to see a duo on Stars in the Rise, but it's unprecedented to see a trio walk through those doors. But that's what's about to happen with our tenth and final Euro Stars Act. Here to tell us about it is the Spanish judge, Buenos Aires, Spain, and hola, Claudia G. Buenas tardes, Matthew. Good night. <laughs> Hello, Claudia. You're looking lovely, may I say? Thank you very much indeed. Now, you have a catchphrase a bit like uh, tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be. How does it go in Spain? It says, esta noche, for instance, Pepito Perez será, which is, means tonight, Pepito Perez will be. It's quite similar to yours, actually. We even have those famous doors. It's exactly the same stage as your old one, actually. Uh, the <laughs> You might be inheriting this one soon Maybe, as well. maybe. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the history of your representatives. OK. Um, I know, I've heard, that it's the first time you have a trio in your stage, right? So these three sisters, they're just going to amaze you. Gracias, Claudia. <laughs> Hasta luego. Thank you. Three Spanish singing sisters are about to become three stateside singing legends and showing us around their hometown, Eurostar guest number 10. Hi, we are the Ballina sisters. Welcome to Palma de Mallorca. Living in Palma is wonderful. It's just that any day that we feel like it, we can go on the beach and we wouldn't swap it for anywhere. We were raised in Scotland and we had an uncle. He lived in Mallorca and so we kind of went over for a summer and stayed. And we've actually been in Palma for 16 years. The Spanish version of Stars in the Rise is very traditional Spanish. They love their Spanish music. In the finals, we were the only English speaking act. I think what we're most looking forward to tonight is, apart from playing with orchestra, it's like a big dream for us. The first clue to the people we're going to be is they were formed in 1963 in Philadelphia. They recorded the theme song to the hit American show Soul Train. They were Prince Charles' favourite band, even playing at his 30th birthday. Three sisters, one soul trio. Tonight, singing live and representing Spain, the Ballina sisters are the Three Degrees.
My girls. I know what you're thinking. If any one of these three had dropped out, I could have taken over, couldn't I? <laughs> it's uncanny, isn't it? Spooky. Now, you girls are from... You're half Scottish... Half Spanish. ..and half Spanish. Yeah. Do you feel more Scottish or more Spanish? We can mm. say we're in between both. Yeah. Both. Very divided. And between. In between. That's <laughs> right. But you've been over there for 16 years now, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, in Spain, yeah. Yeah. And uh, you met somebody from our show when you entered your competition as well, didn't you? Yeah, we did. It was uh, a man named John who was doing um, Matt Monroe on one of the series, one of the first series of Stars in Their Eyes. And he was an invited guest over there doing Frank Sinatra. And he said, if you ever get the chance to go on Stars in the Rise in Britain, you'll absolutely love it. And and, he, and he, was right. he, he was right. He was right. Oh, <laughs> he I was can't right. get over three Spanish girls with Scottish accents. <laughs> <laughs> it's fabulous. You come from a musical family, don't you, girls? Yes. Our yes. father was a musician all his life. Right. Drummer. Pa Patty, you're a drummer? Yes. Fanatic drummer. Yvonne, your partner is from Manchester. From Manchester, yes. Has he shown you the sights? He's shown us Man City's football ground. <laughs> <laughs> That's the site. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> representing Spain, Patty Carroll and Yvonne Ballinas as the Three Degrees. Thank you, girls. <laughs> We've now seen ten stars in Euro Eyes from ten different countries. Will your choice match our judges? Only they have the power to make one of our stars a European champion. Before they do, let's have a reminder of all ten with Britain's voice of the doors, Andrew Britain. Andrew, ça va? Merci, Matthew. First, we went Dutch as Holland was represented by Sylvana Jermatt as Patti LaBelle. Then a man who sounds great in any language. Peter Kovacs represented Hungary and Wales as Tom Jones. Back home next, the UK's Eurostar was our first champion of the year 2000. Gary Mullen as the late, great Freddie Mercury. Norway was next through the doors as Benedict and Naram sang live as Joni Mitchell. Marco Newman represented Germany as Marty Pello. He's a German Eurostar and now he's a British one too. It's written in the wind. Oh. Katia Nord and Camilla Lowenberg had all the right credentials to be Agneta and Anna Fried from ABBA representing Sweden. Mama mia, here I go again. My, my, how can I resist you? Matteo Tarola was Italy's representative and kept the Latin flowing as the South American superstar Ricky Martin. Sunny Arawa had to become a French Canadian who sings in English. A tough task, but she was up to the challenge representing Belgium as Celine Dion. You were my strength when I was weak. You were my horse when I could speak. Nadia Souza represented Portugal, but she had to go to France for Edith Piaf with Je ne regrette rien. Finally, Two's company, Three is Proud, when Spain's Patricia, Carol and Yvonne Balinas became the Three Degrees. Thank you, Andrew. We'll be back for the judge's decision. Who will be the stars in Euro Eyes champion? Who do you think deserves the title? It's in our judges' hands now. Join us after the break for the crowning of a new European champion. I'll see you then.
Welcome back to Stars in Euro Eyes. Tonight we've seen ten of Europe's finest sound alikes as ten of the world's greatest musical stars, but only one can become the Euro Stars champion for 2001. We brought Europe together more successfully than any political party, but now it's time for real democracy in action, and here's how it works. Each judge can give either two, four, six, eight, or ten points to the Euro star they think deserve them, bearing in mind, of course, they can't vote for their own country. Their votes are based, as always, on the best sound alike, not the best look alike. In the event of a tie, the singer with the most tens awarded will become the winner. All ten Euro stars are down in the nerve centre awaiting the results. So, here we go. Patti LaBelle from Holland was first through the doors. So they'll be first with their scores. Guten Abend, Holland. Hello, Joe. <laughs> Good evening. Do you realise you gave me a very hard time, Matthew? I didn't know that, did I? Yes, I was only allowed to choose five people of all those wonderful performers, and I wasn't allowed to give you any marks, so that makes me very sad, because you did a very wonderful job. Bless I must you, say. Joe. Thanks. Very nice of you to say. Whereabouts in Europe will Holland be sending their scores? Here to? are the results, Matthew, of the Dutch vote. We award two points to Joni Mitchell from Norway. No way, two points. We have four points for ABBA from Sweden. Sweden, four points. Six points for Ricky Martin from Italy. <laughs> Italy, six points. And then our eight points go to Celine Dion, Belgium. Belgium, eight points. Now, who will your top score of ten points go to this evening, Joe? I believe I'm going to make you... Um, a very happy man because our ten points go to your own Freddie Mercury from the United Kingdom. In the United Kingdom taking an early lead there. Thank you, Belle Holland, and thank you very much, Joe. Now, can we please have the results of the Hungarian vote? Yo, Ashtay Hungary. Hello, Istvan. Good evening, and uh, here are the results of the Hungarian vote. Uh, two points to Johnny Mitchell from Norway. Norway, two points. We give four points to Freddie Mercury, United Kingdom. United Kingdom, four points. Six points go to Edith Piaf from Portugal. <laughs> Portugal, six points. Eight points to Céline Dion from Belgium. Belgium, eight points. And who does your top score go to tonight, Istvan? To Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. Ten points. Ten points for Holland. Istvan, it's been a pleasure having you with us. Kusselam, <laughs> Hungary, and thank you very much, Istvan. Looking at the scoreboard, we can see that Belgium is in the lead with 16 points there. And the UK just two points behind on 14 points. Now, we need to ask the whereabouts in Europe are the UK's votes going to. Now, good evening, UK. Hello, Cheryl. How are you? You enjoyed yourself tonight, Cheryl. I've really enjoyed it, but golly, this has been so difficult. But I'll, I'll get on with the marks. See it's what you a make tough of competition, this. thank you. First of all, two points to Edith Piaf from Portugal. Portugal, two points. Four points go to Joni Mitchell from Norway. Norway, four points. Six points to ABBA from Sweden. Sweden, six points. Eight points to Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, eight points. They're doing very well. But who does your top score go to, Cheryl? My top score goes to Marty Pello from Germany. Germany, ten points! <laughs> well... That means that Belgium are in the lead with 24 points. And the United Kingdom is second with 14 points. Thank you very much, Cheryl, for your scores there. Let's see which Eurostars most impressed the Norwegian judge. Gukvel, Norway, and hello, Rebecca. Hiya, thank you, Matthew. First, I have to say it was a fantastic show. So, thank you um, very much, Rebecca. <laughs> the Norwegian votes go like this. Thank you. Norway awards two points to ABBA from Sweden. Uh, Sweden, two points. The four points are awarded to Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. Holland, four points. We give six points to Freddie Mercury from the UK. The United Kingdom, six points. Eight points are going to Edith Piaf from Portugal. Portugal, eight points. 
and big... your top score tonight, please, Vibeka. Yeah, the, and a big ten points from Norway go to Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, ten points! Thank you very much for joining us tonight, Norway, and thank you especially to you, Vibeka. Well, it's up to another ten points on offer. Where will Germany be sending them? Hello, Nova. Hi, Matthew. Wow, everyone is a winner tonight, that's for sure. It was so hard to find a decision. I'm glad you said that, Nova. <laughs> that's absolutely true. But unfortunately, we have to find a winner tonight. So who will your points go to, please? That is true. Well, Germany awards two points to Loni... Joni Mitchell, I'm sorry, from Norway. Norway, two points. Thank you. Our four points go to Edith Piaf from Portugal. Portugal, four points. Germany gives six points to Freddie Mercury from the UK. The United Kingdom, six points. We will present eight points to Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, eight points. And your top score tonight, please, Nova. Well, our top score tonight is going out to Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. Holland, ten points. Thank you. That brings Holland up to 24 points. But I suspect that Belgium is still in the lead with 42 points. It's still anybody's game here, though. We now say Guggevel, Stockholm, and hey, Lea. Hello, Matthew. It was indeed very difficult, but this is a result of the Swedish vote. We give two points to Edith Piaf from Portugal. <laughs> Portugal, two points. We give four points to Marty Pello from Germany. <laughs> Germany, four points. And six points to Patty from Holland. Six points to Holland, thank you. And eight points to Freddie Mercury from the United Kingdom. Eight points to the United Kingdom, thank you. And your top score tonight, thank you, Leia. With our thanks for a great, great show, we give our top marks with ten points to Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, ten points in our thanks to you for joining us. That's Sweden. Now, can we please have the votes of the Italian judge? Buonasera, Italy. Ciao, Lorenzo. Ciao, Matteo. How are you? Do you have some scores for us? Yes. Now, let's go for the first two points, which go to Freddie Mercury from United Kingdom. United Kingdom, two points. And then uh, we award four points to Patti LaBelle from Holland. Four points go to Holland. Thank you very much, Lorenzo. Then we give six points to Edith Piaf from Portugal. Portugal, six points. And then eight points from Italy go to Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, eight points. Now then, who will your ten points go to tonight, Lorenzo? And Italy's top score, ten points, go deservedly to the pure innocent, a wonderful voice of Johnny Mitchell from Norway. Norway, ten points! Thank you very much, Lorenzo, and Grazia, Italy! So, Belgium still doing very well there, but it's not over yet. There's a long haul yet. Huynavond, Belgium, and he hello, Mr. Cool Kurt. The Belgian points, two points uh, to Tom Jones from Hungary. With two points on the board for Hungary. Thank you very much, Kurt. Who do your four points go to, please? Four points from Belgium go to the three degrees from Spain. <laughs> the three degrees have scored as well. We give six points to ABBA from Sweden. Sweden, six points. And uh, we present the eight points to Freddie Mercury from the UK. Freddie Mercury. From the UK gets eight points. Yes. And who does your top score go to tonight, Kurt? Well, Matthew, I closed my eyes and I heard a winner. Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. <laughs> Holland, ten points! Thank you very much, Kurt, and thank you for being with us. Thank you very much, OK, so we have uh, Holland and United Kingdom on 44 points. We have uh, Belgium on 60 points there, but it still could go Anyway, where in Europe are Portugal's votes going? Boa noite, Portugal. Olá, Barbara. Boa noite, Matthew. Good evening. So here are the results for Portuguese votes. 
We award two points to Marty Pello from Germany. Germany, two points. The four-point score goes to Tom Jones from Hungary. Yeah. Hungary, four points. We give six points to Johnny Mitchell from Norway. Norway, six points. Thank you very much. And your eight points? And the eight points are going to Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. Holland gets eight points. And now your big round of ten points. Who will they go to tonight, Barbara? And with the... Little of magic, <laughs> the 10 points goes to United Kingdom. To 10 <laughs> points! <laughs> to the UK! Obrigado, Portugal, and thank you very much, Barbara, for being with us. Holland's on 52 points, United Kingdom on 54 points, and Belgium on 60 points. So Spain are going to decide who will be the European champion of Stars and Rides for 2001. Buenas tardes, Spain. Hola, Claudia. Hola, Matthew. This is so, so hard. Too much weight in my shoulders, really. But let's just start it. Thank you. Spain awards two points to Freddie Mercury from UK. Two points to the United Kingdom. Four points to Patti LaBelle from the Netherlands. Four points to Holland. Thank you. Six points to Johnny Mitchell from Norway. Norway, six points. Eight points to Edith Piaf from Portugal. Portugal, eight points. The big, big points are for Celine Dion from Belgium. Belgium, ten points. Gracias, Spain. So that means that Celine Dion from Belgium is a start in Euroice champion for 2001. <laughs> I'm so pleased for you. Did you see what you won? Do you want yeah. to try and lift it? No problem. No problem. Congratulations. <laughs> Fabulous. Tell me, what did you think of your competition tonight? They were all very, very good. Very, very yeah, good. I know. enjoyed it very much. And you know, oh. we have a very high standard here in the United Kingdom, and to beat all the comers tonight to get to this spot, Congratulations, but Thank not only much. that, may I say to you that we've worked together all week, all of us, and they have been the most delightful bunch of people I have ever met in my life. <laughs> there has been no competition. No, not at all. They're all back family. They're all family, absolutely, and they've all got on so well together, and, and you've been lovely to work with as well. And thank you thank very you. much, but you deserve that, and it's lovely, and I'm thrilled for you, and I'm thrilled that your family are here to see it as well. Yeah. And it's been an honour to present stars in Euro Eyes here in the UK. Over the last week, our Euro stars have been the best fun, not to say some of the most talented people you could hope to meet. We've seen ten wonderful performances, but only one can be the European champion, and that's Sonny here. So to sing us out one more time, the stars in Euro Eyes champion 2001, Sunny Orwa from Belgium as Celine Dion. Thank you.
with another amazing stars in your eyes next year. And for our UK viewers, we're back for a new series of stars very soon. Thanks to everyone who's made this show such a success, especially our 10 Euro stars. But the night belongs to Sunny Orwa from Belgium as Celine Dion. Thanks for watching. Good night. Oh dear.